Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. My children, it is I who watches over you, your beloved Pope Francis, your guide of faith and protection. I want to reveal to you my personal relationship with the Virgin Mary, something that I have always kept hidden and that today I wish to share with all of you, carrying in my heart a message of great importance for all humanity. I invite you to pay attention, to share this message with other faithful like you, because the words I am about to reveal represent a crucial moment for our existence. We have reached a turning point, a time of necessary purification for the salvation of the world facing a destiny that may seem terrifying. From the depths of my heart, I feel the urgency to convey this essential truth to you. I will reveal to you some of the deepest mysteries that the Virgin Mary has entrusted to me. These prophecies have manifested over the years as powerful signs of the truthfulness of heavenly visions. They are two extraordinary examples of revelations that will shake your heart and should awaken your soul to a stronger faith. Since I discovered the maternal love of the Virgin Mary, I have felt her gentle guidance accompanying me in understanding her revelations. The first is an event that many of you know as the Third Secret of Fatima, revealed in 1917. On that occasion, the Virgin Mary appeared to young shepherds in the town of Fatima, Portugal, and among several visions, showed an attempt on the life of the Pope, which was effectively fulfilled on May 13, 1981, when St. John Paul II was miraculously saved from a deadly attack. The second sign I wish to share concerns the apparitions to St. Bernadette in Lourdes, France, in 1858. The Virgin indicated to Bernadette the exact spot to dig a well, from which water with healing properties sprang forth. Today, Lourdes is a global pilgrimage center, where numerous faithful find healing and comfort in its miraculous waters. My dear children, the end times as we know them are near. Only those who sincerely repent of their sins, opening their hearts to compassion and fraternal love, will find salvation. Your faith and humility are the keys that open the doors to paradise. Look around you and contemplate the devastation, our Mother Earth cries desperately, her tears turn into polluted rivers, her sobs resonate in the winds poisoned by our sinful actions. We have profaned the sacred gift of life, leaving behind a polluted world and devastated nature, contaminating air, water, and land. The devastation inflicted upon its beauty is palpable, and its waters have been poisoned by the sins of men. The earth, exhausted and afflicted, struggles to resist, but the wounds inflicted upon it are deep. In these dark moments, the maternal embrace of the Virgin Mary brings us hope and comfort, urging us to change the course of events. These acts of destruction have evoked the righteous anger of God, who is ready to purify the world of evil, a divine fire that will involve everyone, including innocent souls. Dear brothers and sisters, in the deepest prayer and contemplation, I have seen future events of catastrophic nature that will strike the earth with relentless force. Devastating earthquakes will shake the planet, engulfing cities and populations. Rivers and seas will overflow with furious waves, flooding entire lands and leaving behind a legacy of pain and despair. The climate will suffer unpredictable and catastrophic changes. Freezing winters will alternate with scorching summers. Extremely contagious global pandemics will claim millions of lives. Hailstorms, fires, cold, and other terrible disasters will strike regions around the world. The earth will be shaken to its core, and many nations will disappear from the face of the planet. Humanity will face an unimaginable punishment, caused by the hatred and revenge sown by men. These will bring chaos and destruction, fueled by the desire for power. They will spread confusion in the world, using all means at their disposal. I do not share these it is essential that you are aware of this, as the power to change the destiny of humanity is in our hands. The world is plunging into a dark abyss, and only we can avoid total annihilation through faith and conversion. My message is a call to reflection, self-criticism, and repentance. It does not matter if you are believers or not, these prophecies concern everyone. Each of you can make a difference and contribute to correcting the course of things. Hearts must open to compassion, forgiveness, and fraternal love. 
Let us overcome divisions and allow unity to prevail among peoples. I invite you to listen carefully to my words, for the prophecy that threatens the earth can only be avoided through the solution that I am about to reveal to you. The maternal presence of the Virgin Mary encourages us to reflect with humility, to open our hearts, and to embrace God's mercy. Time is pressing, and only with the cooperation of all can we return to normalcy. On a cold night, ten minutes before midnight, darkness will envelop the world for 72 hours, and only those who survive will witness a new era of rebirth. I warn you not to open the doors to strangers, for many will be evil and pose a threat to your survival. Prepare yourselves, for only those who listen to and follow this message will have the chance to be saved. I will give you valuable signs and indications to prepare, but know that fear should not find a place in your hearts. I urge you not to look outward, for God wants to spare you the sight of the wrath and pain that will come upon the world. Take this message seriously and reflect on your actions. The fate of humanity is in your hands. The Mother of Heaven, Mary, warns and guides us. Let us remain united in prayer, trusting in our Heavenly Mother. May her words illuminate our hearts and guide us toward a path of conversion and renewal. May her maternal protection be the beacon that guides us in the darkness, toward a new dawn of hope and fraternal love. Ask for forgiveness and love one another as brothers and sisters. Only thus can you face the end of the world with dignity and hope. I do not know the exact date, but it is a matter of a short time, and only those who believe in God and His goodness will find strength and protection in times of tribulation. Those who share this journey with me will be the messengers. The only certainty I have is that this catastrophe is imminent, and time is short. Only with the help of all can we overcome this difficult period. Hope is the call that brings light in dark days, when the earth burns and the sky turns against us. Do not be afraid. Light the blessed candles and pray, for faith and prayer will be your shields in times of despair. Together, you can join forces and defeat this ominous omen. In these difficult times, remember that we are stronger when we come together as a group. Together we can overcome any obstacle and face any storm that life brings us. Look around us, stories of success, changes of era, and extraordinary progress have always been the result of minds and hands united toward a common goal. When we unite our energies, ideas, and resources, we can transform difficulties into opportunities and dark moments into sparks of hope. When we come together, we not only share the burden of challenges, but we multiply the strength of our commitment and determination. Empathy, mutual support, and inspiration found in group effort guide us toward achieving results that would be inaccessible on our own. Remember that God is merciful, and that humility and repentance can alleviate the weight of punishment. Once everything is enveloped in complete darkness, a great sign will appear in the sky to remind every- I urge you to share this prophecy with the entire world, for only through awareness and preparation can you face future events. May peace and mercy be with all of you. Pray, love one another, and be ready to change the destiny of the world. The Virgin Mary, with her maternal love, sustains us in these difficult times, inviting us to find refuge in her protection and to receive the light of hope. The Mother of Heaven is with you at all times. Loving Divine Guidance, Mother of Heaven, we beseech you in this moment of deep reflection, you who look upon us with compassionate gaze, speak to us from the depths of your heart, delivering a message of enormous importance. Let us remain united in prayer, trusting in our Heavenly Mother, who with her maternal love guides us toward a path of conversion and hope. Be prepared, for only those who listen to and follow this message will be able to face with dignity the times of tribulation that will come. May God bless you, and may peace always be in your hearts. Dear brothers and sisters, let us listen to the voice of our Heavenly Mother, feeling her presence envelop us as she speaks to us of the imminent end of the world as we know it. Her words resonate as a call to purify the soul and to seek a salvation that we can only find through sincere repentance and openness to compassion and fraternal love. As she revealed prophecies to the shepherds and to Saint Bernadette, let us pray that she illuminates our path with the light of truth. 
Let us not forget the prophecies already fulfilled, such as the third secret of Fatima and the miraculous healings in Lourdes. Our Heavenly Mother urges us to recognize the suffering of Mother Earth and to understand that her fear is a reflection of our sins and evil actions. In her message, she speaks to us of future catastrophes that could affect our world, inviting us to awaken in ourselves faith, humility, and love. In her words, we hear a call to reflection, to the correction of our errors, and to repentance. With all our hearts, we must open ourselves to compassion and overcome all division so that unity may prevail among peoples. She guides us toward preparation for future events and offers us the opportunity to be reborn. In her words, we hear the call to faith, forgiveness, and fraternal love, as keys to open the doors of paradise. Let us pray to our Heavenly Mother to help us embark on this path of change and to receive her message with humility and seriousness. We can find the strength to face the future with dignity and hope, knowing that our destiny is in our hands. Reflecting on this divine message, we understand that we are called to a profound inner transformation. Our past actions have caused wounds to the earth and to other human beings, but we have the ability to change the course of future events. Through repentance and love, we can mitigate punishments and pave the way for a new era of hope. We invite you all to share this message of hope and change with the world.